In this video, you'll learn how to send a pass or fail status to the SOS REST dashboard using the SOS REST API, a session ID, and the test watcher interface. The first thing you'll need to do is create two variables. The first one will store the session ID from the remote web driver, and the other one will store the instance of the SOS REST client. Once you have those two variables created, go into the SOS Labs case and store the session ID from the remote web driver session as a string. Next, you'll want to start a connection with the SOS REST API using your username, access key, and data center and store it in the SOS client variable. Next, if your IDE does it for you, you should see a data center and SOS REST library imported or else you'll have to add them in yourself. You'll also need to go into the POM XML and make sure the SOS REST dependency has been added to that. The next thing that you're going to do is add more to your test watcher. You're going to add in two more override annotations with two different methods. The first is the failed method, which will kick off if your test is failed. And the second is the succeeded method, which will kick off if your test has succeeded. If you get the information from the SOS REST API that the job has failed, it'll pass that information to the SOS Labs automated test dashboard along with the URL of the test results. If the job passes, it'll pass that information to the SOS Labs dashboard as well. Now, when you run your test with the Maven Clean Test command, you'll see your test results populating on the SOS Labs dashboard. Once your tests have completed running, instead of seeing a complete or errored status, you'll see a pass or fail status on the right hand side of the automated test results dashboard. In the next video, learn about running your tests on different browsers on Sauce Labs.